we have very serious problems out here with pollution. And the pollution comes from all the communities in this area. And especially um, transportation, the streets, the freeways. And the freeway, particularly, or the streets, every time people hit their brakes, metals come up the brake pads, the sink, aluminum, and that's very toxic to animal life. And so it impacts the whole ecosystem. That this particular lake uh, has been impaired by a trash, excessive trash, and a nutrient of pollutants. So that uh, greatly affects the, the actual use of this lake. Like Hector mentioned that people are not supposed to go in there. The water, uh, this water actually also receives the uh, runoff from the, the freeway, which also includes uh, the metals, especially uh, lead, uh, zinc, and, 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 and copper. And so the, uh, the same regulatory agencies has determined that the Eller River, which receives the runoff from this area, including the lake the runoff, uh, has been impaired by the, the metals, which also eventually discharge to the ocean. So it's all connected. And then this, uh, in particular, this lake and the Ella River has been uh, impaired by the, the nutrients and trash and, and the metals. So that's- uh, This the, is a great example of a project that you let nature do the cleanup of the stormwater. We have native vegetation that actually remove the pollutants um, from the water and then that vegetation as it grows and, and is maintained, uh, it does a fantastic job of, of removing some of the toxins that end up in the stormwater. And, the, and we found out that the best way to address the stormwater issue is through nature. Let nature do its job and let nature allow the water to percolate into the ground um, to uh, provide additional water um, for our communities.